Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncey. As always, I pray that you are doing well and holding on to God's unchanging hand. I wanted to come on here and just pray a prayer over our children. Um, as I had mentioned in one of my recent posts that God has had children on my heart and like heavy in my spirit for quite some days now. And so I just wanted to release a prayer over them. So gracious Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father, that you are the God who sits high and you look low and the earth is your footstool. And Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God, that there is nothing that you cannot do. There is no place that we can go that you are not already there. We thank you, Lord God, that you are sovereign. You are majestic. You are ruler. You are keeper. You are protector. You are provider, Lord God, and defender of our children. Father, we uplift our sons. We uplift our daughters daughters in the name of Jesus and we cover their minds with the blood of Jesus. We cover their wombs, Father, in the name of Jesus. For the enemy desires to steal, kill, and destroy our babies, Father, but we raise up the standard of the name of Jesus over their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, Lord God, that they shall live and not die to declare the works of you, O Lord. They will live to tell of your goodness. They will live in the name of Jesus to operate in your kingdom and to thrive in your kingdom and to grow in your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. They will live to know you as Abba, their father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask even now that you would forgive us, the parents, Lord God, and even our children of any sin that we have committed, Lord God, even in our bloodline in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our prayers for our children will not be hindered because you are working on the hearts of the parents, Father, to cover our children daily, Lord God, to shower them with an unconditional love daily in the name of Jesus because they are facing battles that we don't even know of, God. They are fighting fights that we don't even know of, Father. So we just ask that you would continue, God, to unite families in the name of Jesus, Father. We plead your blood, Lord God, over the schools, Lord God, the elementary schools, Lord God, the middle schools in the name of Jesus, every high school, every college, every daycare facility, Lord God. We plead your blood, God. I release your ministering angels in the name of Jesus to go on assignment, Lord God, to see about our babies, Father. For your word says, for your word, Lord, says that the the angel of the Lord is a guard surrounding and defending all who fear you, God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you that our children fear you, God. They reverence you. They respect you, God. They honor you, God. Therefore, your angel must surround them. Your angel must protect them. Ooh, your ring of fire must be a shield around about them, Father. Therefore, the enemy cannot penetrate them. I bind and rebuke, Lord God, every demonic plan, plot, scheme, Lord God. God and trap that the enemy would try to use, Lord God, to sift our children as we, God. I come against, in the name of Jesus, every demonic agenda, Lord God, involving school shootings, mass murderings, mass killings, Lord God, identity crisis, God, trying to make our children believe that they are transgender, trying to make our sons believe that they are girls, and trying to make our girls believe that they are boys. Father, I bind and rebuke this thought, Father, because in your word, you created man and female now to be together, Father. We thank you that our children are not afraid to stand on your word. They are not as afraid to believe your truth. They are not afraid to live and to declare your truth, Father. We release your spirit of holiness. We release your spirit of boldness. We release your spirit of prosperity upon our children. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that even now they are thriving, Lord God, excelling in their classroom, excelling in their academics, excelling in sports, excelling, Lord God, in their education, Father. Father, they are finding favor with you, which is causing them to find favor with man. We thank you for going into every classroom, every gymnasium. Ooh, may your presence flow with them, Lord God, even on the campus, Lord God. The neighborhood is blessed just because our children are there in the name of Jesus. The steps of a good man are ordered by you, God. We thank you for ordering every one of our children's steps, leading and guiding them in the way that they should go. They had no lack or want or need of anything because they are shepherded by you in the name of Jesus. Grant them your discernment. Grant them your wisdom, God. Grant them your insight, your sight, and your foresight, God. Help them to know who to connect with, who to make friends with, God, and who to depart from in the name of Jesus. Help them to remain pure, Lord God. Help them not to just be laying down, Lord God, with anyone, Lord God. 
and allowing themselves to be tainted by this world, God. We ask, God, that you would come in in the name of Jesus, God. Heal their hearts. Fix their minds on you, Lord God. Give them peace of mind. God, I just release, God, a wind, a whirlwind, God, of your peace upon our children. A whirlwind of deliverance, God. A whirlwind of healing, God. A whirlwind in the name of Jesus, God, of your presence, God. Help them, God, to hear and to know your voice, God. To respond only to your voice, God. Your word tells us that your sheep know your voice. And another voice they will not listen to. And we bind and rebuke, Father, every demonic voice trying to infiltrate the mind and the decisions, God, of our children, God. I come against it with the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus. If you be for our children, God, nothing and no one can be against them, God. We shatter the kingdom of darkness, God, that is after our children. And we release the sound of victory over our children. We bind and rebuke, Lord God, gang violence in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke, Father, every attack, Father, that would make them feel insecure, that would make them feel insignificant, that will make them have low self-esteem. Everything, God, that was not sent by you, God, we bind and rebuke it now in Jesus' name. And we forbid it to return. We forbid it to re-strengthen. We forbid it to rebuild. And we lose your supernatural provision protection, your wings of love surrounding them, even now in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke the spirit of molestation, God. Every impure touch, every impure action, God, everything that the enemy would try to send their way, God, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I loose an ambush in the spiritual realm, God, that would completely demolish and destroy and dethrone the works of darkness. And Father, we thank you right now that you have given us the power to speak life and that you have given us the power to call those things that be not as though they already are. Father, we speak, we declare, and we pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is so. And we erect you, Lord, as our rear guard. For you are the God who goes before our children. You follow behind them and you place your hand of blessing on them. And it is so in Jesus' name.